Dan Rather, the very famous CBS news anchor who was infamously fired for lying on television repeatedly, now says television news doesn't need to report both sides because one side's always lying. So it's okay with him if the news is filtered and it's opinion rather than news. That opinion coming from a news anchor. I disagree. You remember Dan Rather. He used to be the most known newsman till he was fired. He's supposedly the father of fake news. He was thrown out of CBS mm -hmm. after a million years for faking stories about President Bush. He just made it up. His producer was fired. He was fired. No one would hire him. He now does a series of uh, interviews on an, uh, a music channel where he interviews like ZZ Top and other old bands and ask questions that he can't hear the answer to because he's like 100 years old. <laughs> he has now decided in his infinite oldness, it sounds like something Biden would say. I, I checked to make sure it was correct. He said, quote, enough with both, both sides ism. And what he's referring to, he says, if Trump says the sky is green, the story isn't that the, that the sky is now green. The story is that the sky is still blue and Trump got it wrong. And so what he says is the news should not present both sides. It should just present the truth. The truth as envisioned by the guy reading it to you. You know, kind of <laughs> like Rachel Maddow on MSNBC, right? <laughs> Where she won't show Trump's speech because as she puts it, he's just going to lie. So I cut the speech off and MSNBC let her do it. When the news gets to the point where it's not factual, it's interpretive, or even more left than that, isn't that propaganda? A hundred percent propaganda. And it's government state media. I've said that many times. The government state media, and you know, you know what the government state media is. They put out what the government tells them to put out, what the government tells them to say, and they don't have any issues with it. And then you have Rachel Maddow not wanting to show President Trump because oh my goodness he's going he's on he's going to lie he's going to lie when all she does is lie she lies so much that you if you turn on her show she's getting awards for lying who can be the best liar and she's winning them because she's really convincing in her lies she get a lot of people to believe them i know people personally who believe the lies that she's telling but it, that's exactly what it is it is 100% propaganda Barry. we're seeing the 1940s happen in the United States of America. And to add to that, you have the Supreme Court talking about the overreach of the government when it goes into like big tech and so and so. And with the government and with the government talking to not only to big tech, but the government is talking to these media outlets, telling them to put out certain information. There was a video with Nancy Pelosi telling everyone to call it the smear campaign where the federal government will feed information to the local state or to the to the government state media, and then they'll report on it, and then it'll come back to them, and they'll, they just confirm it. So we're seeing it's a vicious cycle, and it is propaganda. Of course it is, but don't worry. There's someone smarter than you that's going to tell you what's going on. <laughs> you don't have to think anymore. You can just watch. <laughs>